Brutal honor killing shocks Jordan. Hashtag screams of Ahlam. In Jordan, the brutal murder of a 30-year-old woman by her father in a so-called honor killing has put the issue of violence against women in Jordan under the spotlight, reigniting public fury and calls for action. The murder of the woman identified as Ahlam took place two weeks ago, but it was only when an audio recording of her screaming and the images of her lifeless body in the street went viral on social media that her father was arrested. Ahlam's neighbors say they heard screams at 9 p.m. on the day of her death and saw her running into the street with her neck bleeding, pleading with people to help her because her family wanted to kill her. No one intervened as her father came running behind her with a brick and bludgeoned her to death before sitting down, lighting a cigarette, and drinking tea. I mean, do we even need commentary at this? Like, every like I, I all the. I want to mention ahead. one thing. Like, uh, many activists and many people on the internet had found parallels of this case to another incident last year, which happened in uh, Palestine. Uh, that time, it was a 20-year-old woman, a makeup artist called Isra Graib, I guess. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, but uh, what the similarity between the two cases is like no one came to her rescue when her father was chasing her through the streets. And in the case of Isra, she was still like beaten by a, a father to death in a hospital and no one came to the rescue. So basically it shows that the culture there, the society there is like, yeah, you're, if your dad's trying to kill you, we are not going to interfere in any way or something. Right. So actually that's a very, very good point because um, a lot of people think like, okay, this is not Islamic because if you read the Sahih, uh, you know, Hadith, the authentic hadith, there's nothing in Islam that tells you that you could kill your daughter or anything like that, right? However, it is Islamic. Um, I mean, a lot of people notice that it is indirectly Islamic, okay? There's nothing in Islam that says this is allowed. Um, but um, just, you know, um, and but then people are like, well, if there's nothing in Islam, but this is not allowed, why, this is ha why does this happen in Islamic communities? most of the time, you know, astronomically higher if you adjust per capita than any other community, right? Um, again, religion sometimes is responsible for certain actions without uh, directly promoting it. For example, we know like a, a lot of Catholic priests molest children, even though there's nothing in Christianity that tells you that's okay, but the religious environment and also the ideas that sins can be forgiven um, if, if you just believe in Jesus and they are authority and you know that 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 is given without any credibility to uh, to for for people in position of power to take care of children all of that together creates an environment where children are extremely vulnerable and at risk right when it comes to honor killing in islam islam is responsible for creating uh, environments where honor killing becomes common um the fact that you know you know, a family's honor is very important. Um, the purity of women is very important. Um, the fact that um, even if it's condemned, the punishment for uh, killing a woman is less, uh, much less than killing a man. And uh, the punishment for killing uh, your own children is very low because it's, they were technically your property, especially if you're killing your daughter. Um, a lot of people, a lot of these uh, fathers, for example, when they decide to kill their daughter, they know what they do that while considering the punishment. Um, you know, for example, we see the, the people, for example, in Iran, uh, the punishment for the woman that shared a post with a gay couple on it is being said, the punishment that is being suggested is more than the punishment the father is getting for for beheading his own daughter right so um you could you know if you think like oh well two two or three years in prison by good behavior with good behavior maybe even less uh is completely worth the cost of protecting my family's honor so that's the environment that is uh, is created with 
you know, justified based on like the, the court rulings and the, the low punishment and the fact that women are your property, those you could trace back to the Quran and the Hadith. But you go on, Susanna, and uh, Rifka and Susanna, who, who wants to go first? Oh, oh. So I wanted to give some more background about this case. Um, the news and facts about it have been a little bit slow to come into like the English um, media. Um, I think there needs to be way more English speaking media on this case. It's been a huge deal in Jordan. Um, so there are some people who say that part of the reason why her no one intervened is because she had been facing severe domestic violence at home for months and they were used to the sounds of her screaming. Okay. This is so horrible on so many different levels. I watched the video of the screams. It's awful. At the risk of being a bit graphic, her head was completely crushed. Okay. Now, this has sparked huge outrage in Jordan. Um, it's uh, triggered, one of the hashtags is screams of Ahlam. One of them is Ahlam was betrayed, referring to how no one protected her. Um, some people are saying that she was, what motivated the murder was a dispute over money and how she would work, her family would take away her money and she was trying to get it back to go live on her own. And in protest, this has now sparked huge protests. Um, a group stood outside the Jordanian parliament on Wednesday to make their demands clear. They want the government to abolish articles in Jordan's penal code that allow prison sentences for men who murder their female uh, relatives to be reduced. So current law makes it so, yeah, men who murder their female relatives face little to no jail time. It's not condemned. Um, women are not protected by the, under the law. And um, that's the Islamic part, not yes. the killing, not the killing of the, the killing of the daughter. There's nothing in Islam that supports it. But this low punishment for killing your own daughter, that's the Islamic. She part. had been trying to access the country's Department of Family Protection Services for months for help. She was convinced that her family would kill her. Her community and social services failed her on all levels. And she was murdered in the street. And he hit this man, her father, was so at ease with the act that he just cre d just done that he had the 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 convenience, the the lack of care in the world to just go back to finish his tea to go light a cigarette. What does that tell you about the attitude of what he believes will happen to him? Right? If that's his, his next activity is just to post up and start relaxing. It's, it's absolutely barbaric and it's disgusting. Uh, I want to mention one thing like about uh, protection for the women, there are supposed to be these safe houses there where they can spend time if their their lives are at risk or something like that. But here's the thing: like those safe houses uh, ask you to leave and find somewhere else after three months of staying. In which case, many women have their lives at risk once again. And this is also the time when their family members can kill them because they are not allowed to stay for more than three months. Rivka? So um, I'm not sure about exactly how the laws work in Jordan, but Article 99 of their constitution has three courts, civil court, religious court, special court. And I believe that this could fall under religious court or special court and then they have a reduced penalty for what they call defense the defense is you know you're enraged or you know that the um so there there are there is a religious element to it as well you know um so and i wish i could find the other um article in the um 
yeah, so in Article 104, then they divide the religious courts even further, Sharia courts and then other religious communities. So if you're part of another religious community, you know, so um, the Sharia courts, you know, decide certain things. Uh, blood money, uh, statues of Muslims, uh, Sharia courts uh, exercise jurisdiction um, of Sharia law. So I don't know how this is going to fall depending on, you know, what the government, how they're going to charge him. But there's these, he can be tried under a religious court. And therefore, as Armin was saying, the punishment may not be the same or it could be very reduced. Well, hopefully the outrage that they're getting from the Jordanian people will force the hand of the courts to mm. take this more seriously. But, but sorry, what, what, but, but, uh, Susanna, you were giving the summary and you mentioned uh, something about money and stuff, but wasn't uh, how is this described as honor killing? Like, why are we, uh, why is this being categorized? Like, what was the exact thing that the father was trying to protect? Um, so his motivation is not entirely clear. Now... Mm. I have some sources in Jordan who sent me information, so I'll give it to you, but I would like to preface it with saying that um, I don't know if this is confirmed, but here it goes. Um, this person, oh, so this is, someone sent me a screenshot from Instagram. Um, this person lives in Ahlem's neighborhood. She said Ahlem's parents forced her out of school since she was the four, in the fourth grade to serve them at home. Then she worked as a janitor in a school and her income was forcibly given to her father since she was very little and has been abused physically and mentally. She says what started in the incident um, that led her to her father murdering her was a quarrel over money. Their neighbors heard screams, but they were used to them having fights and screaming, so they didn't think much of it. When the murder happened, the neighbors were afraid to intervene, and the police and medics arrived two hours late. Now they are accusing her of adultery so they can um, benefit from the honor killing laws and get a light sentence. Um, oh, I am oh, not how reliable okay. it is, but this seems real. That brings me to my other, or the other point. So I've been on Twitter posting um, stuff about this case. They were saying that they are going to test her dead body for if it's a virgin. As if, one, that's not how any of this works. That's not medically accurate. Two, that in no way justifies what happens to her, but they are going to try to use adultery laws against or it, to the benefit of her father. Okay, Jordanian, this got a lot more. Jordanian, Jordanian News is reporting on this. Wait, let me see Wait, if I can find got, that tweet. This got a lot more fucked up than I than I can't I couldn't imagine this getting this fuck more fucked up than it already was because it involved a, a father crushing the head of their daughter, but it got more fucked up because. What you're saying is that this wasn't an honor killing. It was about money. But potentially. They okay. Yeah. But like, even if it's potentially, it says a lot about how this government, how Islamic governments operate, right? Even if it's not true, the fact that this is being attempted means that there's precedent for this. They're trying to convince people that this was an honor killing because the sentencing would be lighter. If this was about honor killing and not about dispute over money, holy fucking shit. So now they want to examine the dead body. The, the sentencing of the father crushing the head of their daughter would be less if she had sex. So I found the tweet. Um, Local news says that if it was proved that she committed adultery, they will give the murderer a lighter sentence. Accusations of adultery to justify her death. They're going to examine the body to see if she's a virgin. Yeah. Um, we have seen... Um, sorry, Google Translate from Arabic. Um, always the criminals will try to dress the victims of male treachery with honor cases to escape punishment. Um, even though medically her virginity cannot be proven and the 
examination of virginity on the body of is disgusting and a heinous act. Um, it is necessary to cancel articles 340, 99, 98, and 52 so that there is no excuse or justification for the crime. So there are they're, those articles of the law support. They're investigating the, per, they're, they're investigating the person that had her, her head crushed. They wanted to see. They wanted to see how guilty was the person that had her head crushed by her own father. How guilty was she? How much did she deserve this? Holy shit! What the fuck? It. I, what? Well, and I just want to bring up that Jordan is always held up as an example of you know very secular very moderate country, extremely secular. And then we have this and then, you know, so, you know, I think them holding it up as some sort of special example is, you know, not necessarily the case. Okay. I, I want to say, I mean, this is already fucked up. It, I don't think it can get more fucked up, but uh, this is something like uh, the, the people who knew her, reported that when she was convinced that her father would kill her, she asked for help from the Department of uh, for Family Protection several times, but nothing happened. Like, you know, I have a friend who um, used to live in Jordan, similar incident, a woman who was beaten by her um, family, and they took her to the uh, family protection place. She was bloody, wounded, and the first thing they said was, well, in her ID, she has a hijab on. So before she can, we can even, you know, do anything, please ask her to put her hijab on. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> they're not necessarily interested in helping people. All right, man, this is OK. Let's go to the next news. Um, the one encouraging thing, though, is that this has triggered huge outrage. And um, I've been posting about the protests that are going on on my Twitter. Um, my favorite was a huge group of people chanting, we want a feminist revolution. Okay. This is the real ass feminism that we need in this world. Um yeah. Yeah, no, this this is intolerable. It's disgusting. Um, and we need to hold Jordan accountable for the safety of their women. And just because we have this image in the West of it being a better place to live, that doesn't mean that that's actually true culturally. And just because they think keep things cute and pretty for tourism, that doesn't mean that that's the reality of the people who are living there. Right, and just to be, when Susanna says she tweets stuff, just another reminder that um, if you want to follow anybody here separately, uh, Shobhan, uh, Rivkar, Susanna, um, all the links to all their social media is in the description. Anyways, next news. Okay, wait, wait, wait. wait. Here's something I just found out about this case. Apparently, the Article 340 of Jordan's Penal Code, which allows a judge to hand a less severe sentence to a man who killed his a female relative for like adultery or something like uh, they're saying that it it was recently repealed in 2018 this is something i just found yeah but again it depends on the diff, there's different court systems like rifko said and really it also depends on which court system we get anyways we news thank you for joining us subscribe to our channel hit the bell thingy if you haven't i don't know why what has what's holding you back Okay, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think it's no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, 
link there's a link in the description uh, which is to our newsletter so hopefully some of our, we could email it to you so hopefully you get some of our content that way okay so yeah subscribe to our newsletter as well and share share our videos because you know we do get demonetized that's an obvious on every one of our videos so f that but we don't care about that anymore <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us deprioritize what does that mean that means we're not we don't show up on the suggested you know videos on the right and all that you know on the on people's home pages and that's how channels grow unfortunately we can't grow so we need you guys to share our videos 